Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah. Love talking about new stuff. I don't have it in hand. Just like to chit chat and talk about some new stuff and everything. And uh, hey, if I don't see you, if I don't hear from you, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a great time with your family. Be safe out there. All right, let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like we got a new upgrade kit from DNA Designs, DK41. This is for Victory Saber. All right, so you know the guns were really hollow, had a big, big... Uh, thing of waffles. Well, they give us some new guns. Uh, we also get the new wings. Uh, you know, the wings had the stickers, uh, but this one is going to be painted, so that's really cool. You get a new face mask like or face plate for uh, Star Saber or Victory Saber. Um, that looks pretty cool. And you also get a new sword. So yeah, I mean, the sword was fine. I don't know why you need a new sword. New blade is what you get, but uh, hey, you get one, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is uh, DK41 for Victory Saber. It's going to be released around March of 2023. So, all right, great upgrade kits for Star Saber, Victory Saber, whatever you want to call them. Well, all right, folks, let's move on to Third Party Legends. And it looks like New Age has shown us an NAH47G. This is De Dadalus. Dadalus, I think that's how I call it. And this is Grapple, or actually Hauler. Uh, this is the green, uh, yeah, green hauler. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. I just did a review for Grapple, and uh, I love it. So I'm definitely probably going to like this guy. He's just a recolor. Uh, he looks kind of like pea soup, maybe, or a booger, something like that. Uh, but he does come with the same, uh, you know, same options as uh, uh, what uh, Grapple did. So pretty cool. So there you go. New age. This is H47G, and this is their hauler. All right. Can't wait to get my collection. And also for New Age, there's Hawk, and we got ER. This is their Ironhide and Ratchet. Now, I just put out a little news segment of them yesterday talking about, you know, going over all the stuff and everything. So I'm not going to, you know, really talk a lot about them, just touch base. Uh, they look good. Um, the Carmo, you know, the alt modes look kind of iffy. They're just fine. Uh, but I do like the bot modes. So there you go. This is going to be New Age Hawk and also New Age ER. Ironhide and Ratchet, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my collection as always for New Age. Man, I love their stuff. <laughs> and something from my favorite company that we never get anything from, Jizza Toys is giving us Melody. This is the Transforming Boo Box from The Simpsons. I don't remember which episode this was, but <laughs> that's pretty awesome. That is pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So it actually transformed a little boom box and it turns into a little fem fembot. The speakers are her boobs. That, you know, that's just, come on now. That's just funny. I don't care who you are. There you go. Jizza Toys. I uh, mean, if this was made, I would definitely get this. This would be awesome. Uh, this is Melody and this is their Transforming Boom Box from The Simpsons, man. Golly. And moving on to Magic Square, they showed us two new bots. We're getting Gears, which is awesome, man. Nobody's made a Gears yet. I think uh, Mech Fans Toys did a Gears. Uh, but, man, I'm excited for this, man. I don't, I didn't think I was ever going to be excited for a Gears, but it looks really cool. You can open them up, you know, the chest and everything from that one episode. Uh, he's looking right up at uh, Megatron, I guess, when he was all that happy. Uh, I think, wasn't he the episode? Yeah, where he got he became happy or something like that. That was free. Freaking awesome. But yeah, it looks good. It comes with a little pistol. Uh, the little truck, you know, looks pretty cool as well. Uh, looks like it's going to be some, you know, just like lately, the, you know, the Magic Square has been, the transformation has been kind of, you know, a lot of extra steps. So more likely he's going to be the same way. Articulation looks good. Like, you know, he's got everything you need. So uh, yeah, looking really excited or, you know, I'm looking forward to this guy. So there you go. Magic Square Gears was revealed. And also for Magic Square, we're getting Wind Charger. Man, like I said, another character. Uh, they're just filling the gaps and I like it. I really do. Once again, articulation looks good. Looks like it might be a couple steps for the transformation. That's fine. Uh, the car mode looks nice. I love that metallic blue for the windows. Uh, you know, then you got also a group shot there with them and all that stuff. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm excited. You know, you get these little B characters to fill in, uh, you know, all these little gaps and everything. And that's just 
you know, that's just freaking awesome. So there you go. Magic Square showed us gears and wind charger. Man, I'll both of them get in my collection. Well, all right, folks, let's move on to MP third party news and Metagate Air King MP Beast Wars Pterosaur. Now, I know we've seen some pictures of this, but man, this is, I think, the final uh, version of this, and it looks freaking awesome. I just got in their drift, and he's pretty cool as too, as well. I need to do a review for them, but man, this looks nice. So uh, this is, uh, you know, the physical display. This product includes the main body. Uh, you get a platform uh, stand. You get two guns. You get three uh, face plates. Uh, and you also get a shoulder gun, uh, two shoulder guns, and uh, should be expected to be shipping early next month. So sometime around January. Man, that's cool. But yeah, the paint looks good. I like it. It looks really nice. And we're getting an MP Pterosaur. That is awesome. I know Takara was starting to do some MP Beast Wars stuff. They kind of stray away from that. I know some other companies you know, are doing them, you know, doing some, you know, Transmetal stuff and everything. But yeah, I'm glad that Metagate is doing this and I hope they do some more. I hope they do Wapsdater. I hope they do some, uh, you know, ones we need, you know, Rhinox or something like that. So that'd be pretty cool. So there you go. This is Metagate. This is their Air King, their MP Beast Wars Pterosaur. All right, moving on to Fans Hobby. This is MB-20 Overload. My God, this thing is going to be huge. I just really hope it can, you know, really hold up this guy. Because like I said, Overload was, you know, attachment where you could, you know, go on to uh, Optimus Prime is uh, back and everything. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a huge, huge figure. Uh, so you see a little, you know, a little teaser shot right there with the cannons over him. And uh, yeah, looks looks freaking huge, man. <laughs> I keep saying huge. But yeah, it looks really nice. So there you go. This is going to be their overload. And this is Fans Hobby MB-20. And wow. Sham freaking wow. All right. So I know we've seen pics of this guy. This is Commander of the Stars. This is Transform and Rollout. Uh, this is their uh, Cybertron Optimus Prime. But this is the first time we've seen the box. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this guy. Uh, you know, really totally forgot about this, you know, and, you know, they, you know, went away for a little while and then he they just pop back up and say hey we're still putting this guy out so he looks really good i'm excited for him i think he should be coming in stock overseas pretty soon uh, but yeah there's the first uh, uh site that we've seen of the box and it looks pretty cool it's long and strong it's gonna get his friction on so there it is commander of the stars this is transform and rollout and also from fans hobby we get a look at the mb-15a power commander uh, in the box as well and it should start to ship soon uh, this is a power links uh, version um Probably gonna skip it on this one. Uh, I have the original one and it's, it's great, uh, but I just don't need the recolor. Uh, but if you'd like the Power Links version, uh, you definitely, definitely need to get it. It's a great and fun transformer. Uh, but yeah, here is the new box for him. And I love the throwback, the Armada thing. It looks really good. So there you go. MB-15A Power Commander. This is the Power Links version. And I guess Vectron Lab is still around. They're, you know, releasing the uh, Stunticons. Um, I don't know if, if these have been shown. I mean, that, this has been, you know, it's been a while. It's been over a year, I think, that we've seen this. Uh, most people don't think it's going to come out. I don't know for sure. But, yeah, they're not drawings, but mechanical and te technical testing has been, you know, going through, I guess. Uh, so I guess they're moving at a steady pace, you know. So if you're, you know, excited for the Vectron Labs, you know, and the, you want another Devastator, um, eventually, I guess this is going to come in. We're seeing this is their scrapper. They're calling him uh, Ringho or Ringho or something. But yeah, um, yeah, this Vectron Lab, and maybe we're going to get the uh, Constructicons. Who knows? We'll see. And the last thing we're going to talk about is Studio C. They're going to put out a Cybertron Primus, and this is a great prototype. Now, I already talked about this uh, yesterday, you know, with the uh, New Age Ironhide and uh, Ratchet. Uh, so I already went over details with this, but like I said, uh, it looks good. I I'm excited for it. It's definitely going to go with their, uh, you know, Unicron. And, uh, man, it's got some nice sculpt work, and, man, it cleans up really good. So there you go. Studio C, they're putting out a Cybertron Primus. Man, getting my collection again. All right, let's move on to official Transformer news. And it looks like Diamond Select Toys has shown a couple pics, or early pics, of the upcoming Transformer Gallery uh, Grimlock DLX PVC Diorama. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Non-transforming statue features Grimlock wielding his sword, ready for battle along with a rocky lava base. Very nice. Looks really cool. Uh, it's going to be about $125. Pre-orders are going to be opened up on the 23rd, which is today. And it should be starting to ship out in the summer of 2023. So very nicely uh, sculpted and nice details and everything. So if you like Grimlock, definitely, definitely got to get this guy. So there you go. That is uh, Diamond Select Toys and Grimlock. All right. So we've possibly got a first look at the Walmart Retro G1 Hound reissue. So this is a release of the classic G1 Hound mode with some noticeable differences compared to the original race from 1984. 
Well, yeah, it's not going to have any die cast. Um, we can spot a lighter shade of green plastic, no chrome parts, no die cast pieces. You got tampograph stars, uh, details, and Autobot signing instead of stickers, and a cartoon accurate paint job uh, as well in robot mode. This figure is likely to be part of the new Walmart exclusive retro G1 reissue, which I've already seen Hot Rod and Starscream, which I'm excited for Starscream. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we've learned about the official confirmation, uh, so you know, this not you know been confirmed, but you know, more than likely it's going to come out. Uh, so I, mean, I don't know about this, you know, with all the new stuff, you know, with you know being articulated and everything, and this is like a brick, but not really you know heavy brick. It's going to be you know plastic. I mean, what's the point of having this? Uh, I just don't get it. But you know, if they just want to stand there on your shelf. But anyways, there you go. First uh, look at Walmart Retro G1 Hound reissue. All right, Canadian retail. Holiday Optimus Prime is out. All right, y'all go look for it. It looks like it's going to be found in Manitoba, which I have no idea where that is, but it's found in GameStop. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, it's a great bot. So if you find it, definitely pick it up. So there you go. Holiday Optimus Prime found in Canadian retail. All right. Possible Transformers Reactive screenshot revealed. So this is the new game that's coming out. Uh, it's called Transformers Reactive Game. Uh, we have uh, what appears to be screenshots from the actual game itself. Uh, this shows off some of the roster characters as Starscream, Slipstream, Hot Rod, Soundwave, Sunstreaker, Ironhide, and Windblade. Ooh, as well as possible gameplay screenshots as well. Uh, keep in mind, however, it appears that these shots are from uh, quite early on the game's development, uh, which multiple reports detailing its rocky development is unknown how much it has kept. So yeah, just, you know, it's not going to be the final, uh, say, you know, the final game and everything. So pretty cool. So you got some new uh, screenshots from the possible Transformers Reactive game. And uh, yeah, it looks fun. I, I think I'm going to try to get and play with, you know, play it. I said play with it. <laughs> Giggity. All right, another first look. It looks like we're getting Legacy Evolution Deluxe Animator Prowl and Junkie on 2. Now, I know the Junkie on 2 was on the list of, you know, stuff that was coming out, uh, but Prowl was the first time I've seen this one before. So Prowl's looking very accurate to his OG design, uh, more of the G1 kind of style that they're doing with Animated. They did with Bulkhead, and they did with, uh, you know, uh, Skyquake, that, you know, doing that and everything. So, and while Junkie on 2 also transforms into a motorcycle, so they both transform into motorcycles. That's awesome. And uh, it looks like we fit in well with the Junkie on lineup. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Prowl looks pretty good. I like him. The head sculpt, you know, he had kind of got that long, you know, chin go, you know, thing going on that uh, Prowl had. He has the same weapon, you know, kind of that little throwing star thing. Um, I think it looks good. I think the uh, you know, the uh, alt mode looks good too as well. And, uh, you know, the Junkie on, man, that's going to be awesome as well. I love, you know, the ju more Junkie ons we can get, the better. I'm, I'm happy with everything we get with Junkie ons. So there you go. We got a first look at Legacy Evolution, Deluxe Animated Prowl, and Junkie on 2. What do y'all think about Prowl? I think it looks pretty good. And we got some new in hand images of Studio Series SS100, Rise of the Beast Deluxe Bumblebee. All right. So we have a closer look at the new Rise of the Beast Bumblebee mode, which despite sharing some visual similarities to the Camaro from the Camaro form, Factor is 100% it is new to retooling as confirmed by Hasbro designer Sam Smith. Bumblebee is what seems to be a pretty movie accurate rendition of the yellow sculpt from his both uh, both forms. And uh, we have comparison shots next to the Studio Series Bumblebee toys and RC, Optimus Prime, and so forth. Uh, you know, about, and it also had the scaling as well. So we have both the bot mode and the alt mode and everything. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So there you go. In hand images of Studio Series SS100, Rise of the Beast. This is Deluxe Bumblebee. All right, more Bumblebees. And it looks like Funko Pop Retro Toys Mr. Potato Head Optimus Prime and Bumblebee were revealed. Uh, both figures will be released under the Pop Digital Collection, which means you have uh, to collect the digital tokens in order to redeem the physical toys. Uh, more information can be found at the P Funko Pop website. Uh, it looks like uh, Mr. Pot Potato Head Optimus Prime is going to be 999 units, and Bumblebee is going to be 1,550 units, which that's kind of weird. But anyway, so if you go to their website, if you uh, do their units or something like that, you can get the physical uh, Mr. Potato Head, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee. All right. And we got official Transformers G1 Grimlock one ounce silver coin images. I know they've already done like Optimus Prime and Bumblebee and Megatron as well, so now they did a Grimlock one. So this is a very elegant one ounce coin of pure silver, uh, pure silver, four centimeters in diameter with a face value of about NZ. Two dollars, I guess, but listed uh, it's going to be ninety-nine dollars for a worldwide shipping included. Uh, it's limited to three thousand units. It comes in a really nice G1 themed box and classic patch uh, packaging art. Uh, this, like I said, this is a Force Transformer Silver Coin released along with uh, Prime Bumblebee and Megatron. So if you go on the uh, slideshow website, uh, you can go there and order uh, a G1 Megatron. Or I'm sorry, G1 Grimlock one ounce silver coin. So there you go. 
get that money. All right, we got our first in-hand images of Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Dinobot Sludge. So uh, Evolution is bringing the popular Dinobots now in the core class size and with the ability to merge into Volcanicus, which they shouldn't merge at all, uh, but that's beside the point. Sludge comes packaged in robot mode, which shows a lot of uh, kibble and a lack of articulation, which is, uh, you know, for his size, is not going to be very much anyways. Uh, so there you go. Uh, he's a lower torso and upper legs of a Volcanicus. Uh, Dino mode is sure fun and decent for the size, where they have comparison shots with other core class toys and next to uh, Studio Series uh, Leader Class Sludge as well. So there you go. In hand images of Evolution Core Class Dinobot Sludge. Man, look at those hips. Uh, and also out in Canada, we got the Transformers Retro uh, Transformers the movie Hot Rod. All right. So he was found in Ontario and uh, yeah, it was on in Walmart. So if you're in Walmart in Ontario, you get a chance to get Hot Rod from the uh, Retro Transformers the movie series. All right. All right. So Transformers Kingdom Red Alert out in US retail. I thought it was already out in retail. Uh, so yeah, it was supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive in the U.S. Uh, while it's indeed available online, uh, which I guess that's where I got mine and has been shipped you know, a long time ago. We hadn't heard anything about sightings of physically seen in Walgreens stores. And now we have seen it. So it's been found in Washington and Michigan. And uh, so there you go. If you missed out on Kingdom Red Alert, uh, be on the lookout at your Walgreens. Get out there uh, happy hunting. All right, so it looks like we're getting officially licensed Transformers Nice PBT keycap set by Candy Keys and Clankies. So uh, Candy Keys and Clankies, uh, Clankies, company specialized in custom mechanical keyboards, have teamed up to bring us officially licensed Transformers uh, keycap sets. Uh, these are Transformers themed keycap sets for your mechanical keyboard with MX style switches, and they will be released in Autobot and Decepticon colors, and it will be on their official website. So there you go. Pretty cool. And speaking of Walgreens exclusive, Legacy Minerva has finally uh, been shown or been seen out in U.S. retail as well. So this is a retool and redeco of Legacy Alita 1 inspired by the G1 Japanese Transformer Master Force Headmaster character. She was a junior headmaster. Uh, she was found in Walgreens in uh, Bakersfield, California. So awesome. A lot of people have been waiting for her. Um, so yeah, there you go. Legacy Deluxe Minerva found at U.S. Retail. Man, happy freaking hunting. All right, and some sad news. is It looks like Zavi is canceling European orders for the HasLab Victory Saber set. Uh, so, you know, very fortunate turn of events. European online retailer Savvy has started to uh, cancel European orders for the uh, Victory Saber set. By the time HasLab Victory Saber crowdfunded, uh, crowdfunded campaign was active, Zavi, I think that's what it's called, was the only option for European fans to get this set. It's good to remark that not all orders have been canceled and some orders have been actually been delivered, but a few hours ago cancellations have been affected pre-orders in several countries like Spain, France, Ireland, Sweden, Germany, Poland, Norway, and the Netherlands. Uh, sorry for all the fans that were affected with this cancellations, but we hope that the Hasbro and Savvy uh, will, uh, you know, learn about the issue and give an official statement about the matter. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, man. That really sucks, man. But, yeah, Zavi, if you had a, you know, pre-order through them, it looks like they're starting to cancel them. So, yeah, that sucks. All right, the last thing we're going to talk about, and I'm excited, we got some new listings. Woo! Wait, so 2023 Transformer listings, including from items from across the various product lines. Man, we got some legacy. We got Commander 2, which is going to be, it looks like Armada Optimus Prime. All right, that's freaking awesome. We got a new Titan. It's called Titan 2. And it's going to be Nemesis. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's going to be great. Uh, we got, you know, Rise of the Beast stuff. We got Mainline. We got, it uh, looks like Deluxe Butch, which is going to be Cheetor. Uh, we got some uh, core, you know, Voyager assortment as well. We got a Voyager Optimus Prime coming, a Voyager Rhinox, a Voyager Optimus Primal. You know, we're going to get all that stuff for, you know, for the movie. Uh, Buzzworthy, it looks like we got a Jumble Escape Pack. More than likely, that's probably going to have like Cheetor or something in there. It's going to have some Beast Wars. Uh, we got Studio Series. We got, uh, looks like Deluxe War for Cybertron Infantry. Don't know who that is. It might be a code name or something. Don't, I, I'm not for sure. We're getting a Shattered Glass, uh, looks like an LDR Grimlock. So that is also, I think they're probably going to take the 86 Studio Series movie one and maybe make one. I don't know for sure, but it just says we're getting a Shattered Glass Grimlock. Uh, also, we're getting some, looks like a Movie 7 Hurricane. I don't know who that is. Might be a new character. Uh, we got a bunch of collabs. We got a, a fan exclusive. Uh, we got a new Masterpiece uh, movie line, which is $236. Now, this is Canadian, so but it's generation, so we're getting another Masterpiece figure. You know, I don't know who that's going to be. I uh, hope we'll see you here that soon. Uh, we're getting some selects. We're getting also uh, Bumblebee Studio Series Deluxe. 
uh, Deluxe. Um, so yeah, it looks like uh, going down anything Commander class. It looks like we're getting an 86 Ultra Magnus. That is awesome. I'm excited for that. Um, and so forth. Yeah, that's about it. We got some other legacy stuff, you know, Deluxes and Voyagers and everything. So man, oh, I love, love getting some new listings. And I cannot wait for all this stuff to come out, man. Can't wait. All right, so there are some new listings for 2023 for uh, Legacy. You got a Rise of the Beast, man. It's just a great time to be a Transformer collector. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have this week for news. And man, it is jam packed full of great, great goodness. I just cannot wait. Magic Square Gears and Wind Charger. Man, we got Transform Rollout. We got that new Optimus Prime coming. We got uh, Pterosaur. We got him coming, man. We got so much good stuff. That Animator Prowl. A lot of new Legacy stuff. I'm excited, man. So hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me, are you excited for any of this stuff? You have to be if you're a Transformer collector. Come on now. And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, man, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.